Hey guys, this is just a video for the Nafelheim area. Um, this is, you know, to help anybody that might be a little confused as to how this area is, or in case you just like forget which way to go, because the traps area change all the time and the locations for the tr treasures change, but the map itself doesn't actually change. So like, this is like the starting area in the middle with the, where you get into the first fight. And the white lines, you know, are the traps that constantly change. But basically, the map changes, but stays kind of the same, the, the route. This area is where the anchor of fog is. If you see these pillars, you know you're in the right area because there's nowhere else to go. And there's also like a major enemy located in this, kind of like this big creature right here that you can fight. Sometimes, you know, it might be a traveler. It could be anything, but it's usually like kind of like a little boss fight that happens here and you go to that area to get the anchor of fog because you need an anchor of fog for each of the realm tears there's three realm tears so you just want to make sure you go there get the anchor of fog from the chest once you beat the creature then you can come back through this area and check your progress now when you're coming back down it's always to your left where the anchor of fog is located that's like the shortest route to get there look at it on this little map it's basically go through this trap area to head to the first rest area and then the next fight area will lead you to the anchor of fog it's good to have the Valdi set going around this area because it greatly decreases the curse miss effect on you so that you'll last longer when walking around so you don't have to sit there and worry about running out of time to get back it's very good to have this set it's also very powerful now getting anchor of fog is really cool because they have chests that appear once you go back and reset the area there's going to be a chest that appears in this main area here and the chest won't leave until you open it. So after each anchor of fog, you want to keep opening these chests here and you'll get a lot of mist echoes. The parts for those, for the chest to unlock it is located in the fight areas. So initially when you first see that chest, it's not going to be the anywhere there. You're going to have to go around the map to the different fight areas and find on top of the mountains, which is only three fight areas. You just go around and then you'll see on top of these mountains parts so you can change the symbol to match what was written on the chest and then go back and open the chest now if you're going to the left towards the anchor of fog each time you just gotta remember the symbols in reverse order because it's counterclockwise heading towards the anchor of fog from the left when you first come down from the top part but once you do you know you'll get a lot of missed echoes from opening the chest and then you can go back and start doing the realm tears or opening any chests up there that you haven't opened already. An important thing to remember is to save. You can't save while in the mist, but you can save up top here just in case you die. And, you know, anytime you come back up here, you know, it's best to save because if you die, you'll have to re-get the points that you already got. So it's best to just save and take care of that before anything else happens. I hope this guide was very helpful and, you know, be sure to tune in for more stuff.